Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about being wickedly rich in the world will not get you into heaven. Being wickedly rich in the world will not get you into heaven. And I've been seeing that a lot of people be saying, oh, I'm going to live large and make it rich. But um, it's a price to pay with that. And we have to come to grips in terms that you have to sell yourself in order to be rich in this world. Now, you don't want to be rich in this world. You want to be rich in heaven. So I'm going to clarify and make an, a distinction between the two. Okay? So right now, I'm going to pray in the Holy Ghost Spirit. Ask God, the Lord Jesus Christ to use my mouth and edify it in his name. Dear Heavenly Father, please use my mouth to edify it. To speak the true light and your true living word of the gospel that people shall seek you and only you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today I'm going to speak from James. Let's go to James right quick. And just in, let's see, go back here. Okay, James chapter 5. One verse 1 through 5. Okay. It says, Go to now, ye rich men, reap and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you. Your riches are corrupted, and your garments are mouth eaten. Your gold and silver is cankered, and the rust of them shall be a witness against you, and shall eat your flesh as if it were fire. Ye have heaped treasure together for the last days. Behold, the higher the laborers who have reaped down your fields, which is of you, kept back by fraud, Cried and the cries of them which have wept are entered, are entered into the ears of the Lord of the Sabbath. Ye have lived in pressure, ye have lived in pleasure on the earth and been wanton. Ye have nourished your hearts as in a day of slaughter. You ye have condemned and killed the just, and he do not resist you. Be patient, therefore, brother, unto the coming of the Lord. Behold, the husbandman waited for the precious fruit of the earth, and have long patience. They until, until he received the early and latter rain. Okay. This is what God is saying. The rich people are corrupted in this world. They also kill the just. Of course, the wicked. They do fraud and everything else. Sell themselves. Have pleasure in the earth rather than God. Which is of the world. This is what they do. Okay. Now, in order to be rich... You have to come like them, okay? Don't want to be that way, right? Right. So now let's go to Isaiah. Isaiah 53. Let's back this way. So as a lot of people telling the children, oh, you ain't nobody if you ain't making money. But I rarely hear people say, oh, you ain't nobody, you ain't got the Lord Jesus Christ in your life. Notice it's all about money these days, and people are idolizing it like some type of God. And if you look at the American dollar, you see in the God we trust, the pyramid symbol with the all seeing eye, and the Baphomet. You will see all this stuff written on the American dollar. And lots of times out of ten, it is still Satan that is on the dollar. Okay, Isaiah 53 verse 9, it says, And he made his grave with the wicked and, the, and with the rich in his death, because he had done no violence, neither was any deceit in his mouth. Okay, this is talking about the Lord that, that um, died for our sins. Okay, he had no deceit and no violence within him. Okay, so he was sacrificed for these people. He's wicked. He sacrificed for everybody. Okay. So, let y'all see that. God wants us to make a, uh, he wants us to lay his treasures, which is in heaven and not in this earth. Okay. So, let's go to, let's go to, um, let's go to Matthew. Is that Escalades? Let's see, Escalades 519. Okay, every man, this is Escalades 519, by the way. Every man also to whom God have given riches and wealth and had given him power to eat thereof and to take his portion. 
and to rejoice in his labor. This is the gift of God. But he shall not much remove the days of his life because of God answered him in the joy of his heart. This is being rich in the Lord. Total difference in being rich in the world. Okay. Okay, let's go to let's see. Let's go to Proverbs. I'm in Proverbs right now. Let's go here. Let's go all the way back to 23. Chapter 23, 4 through 5. It says here Labor not to be rich, cease with thy own wisdom. Will thou set thine eyes upon that which is not? For riches certainly make themselves wings, they fly away as an eagle toward heaven. Okay. Labor not to be rich, cease from thy own wisdom. Will thou set thine eyes upon that which is not? For riches certainly make themselves wings. They fly away as an eagle toward heaven. Eat thou not the bread of him that hath an evil eye. Neither desire though thou his standing meats. Okay. Do not lay your uh, wishes on his earth, but only in heaven. This is what God is trying to say. Okay. Let's see. Let's go to verse, uh, chapter 22, verse 7. The rich is ruler over the poor and the bar is servant to the lender. That's just showing you how um, the hierarchy of this world today, that how the rich is ruling over the poor and the bar is servant to the lender. Okay, God is saying that. But it says, a good name is rather to be chosen than great riches and loving favor is rather than silver and gold. The rich and poor meet together, and the Lord is the maker of them all. Okay? It's relative to... What? It says, And chosen in riches, and love and favor rather than silver and gold. Okay? Being chosen by God rather than having the riches of this earth, silver and gold. Okay? There's a distinction between the two. Okay? Now, everybody's making the idea as, Oh, I'm making money. You know, they want money. They want to seek fame and fortune. God said not give into that. Okay, 22 and 7. Let's go to 21. 20. There is a treasure to be desired, and all in dwell under wise, but a foolish man spinning it up. Okay. Showing you how a foolish man is. Talking about how the rich always want to Spin up and live large, right? Right. Let's go 13, 22. It says, A good man, leaving an inheritance to his children, children, and the wealth of the sinner is laid up for the just. Okay. A good man, leave his inheritance. Okay, not the money, but the inheritance that God is sending down as from chosen to chosen. Okay, if y'all don't understand that being in God's favor, chosen to chosen. Okay, let's see, that's 13. Let's go to 10. 10 22. The blessing of the Lord, it make it rich, and he added no sorrow with it. The blessing. Of the Lord make it rich. Okay. Not your money. A lot of people are taking that as for money. That's not what God said. Your blessing that God give it. Okay. 1917. He that had pity upon the poor lended unto the Lord. And that which is he had given will he pay him again. He that had pity upon the poor lended unto the Lord. Okay. And that which he had given, he will pay him again. Point blank. We're supposed to give back to the poor. We're supposed to be cheerful giver. We're supposed to be living the way of God says to live. Okay? But these rich people who are the synagogues of Satan, they like to keep the rich rich, poor poor, and pretend they are saints and they're not. Okay? Notice they'll try to say they're giving back in these funds and everything they really are not okay they not okay all right let's go to let's 
see Matthew. Did I hit Matthew? Let's go to Matthew right quick. Matthew 6, verse 19. It says, Lay not up yours for yourselves. Wait, lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where mouth and rust do it corrupt, and where them where thieves break through and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither mouth nor rust do it corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Point blank. Meaning you should only lay your treasure which is in heaven, being blessed in the Holy Ghost Spirit of the Lord, not your money. Okay? Which a lot of false prophets are preaching. They preaching, oh, seek money, the riches on this earth, live large. You only live large by seeking Jesus Christ, no one else. Okay? Okay, let's go to, let's see, 631. Mm. Let's go to... Ephesians. Ephesians is back here. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 28. It says, Let him that stole steal no more, but rather let him labor, working with his hands, the thing which is good that he may have to give to him that need it. Okay? Working with his hands that he may give to that he needed. Men, don't steal. Work with your hands. Give back to the poor. Be a righteous man. Okay? Not a wicked person is corrupted out here. Seeking fame and fortune. And pretending to want to give back and you're not. Okay? A lot of these satanic people are all for show. And they really are not what they say they are. Okay? Let's go to... Leviticus. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 15. Okay, right here. Ye shall do no unrighteous in judgment. Thou shalt not respect the person of the poor, nor honor the person of the mighty. But in righteousness shall thou judge thy neighbor. Okay. God just saying don't um we shall do no unrighteousness. I mean don't do no unrighteousness with the poor or with the just. It just be righteous, okay? That's what he's saying. Now, let's go to uh, James 1 11. Let's go back. I don't think I went to that. Let's go back. James 1, 11. For the sun is no soon risen with a burning heat, but it is wither the grass and the flower thereof falleth, and the grace of the fashion of it perish. So also shall the rich man fade away in his ways. Okay. God said they will perish and fade in their ways because they are not with God. Okay. That is what he's saying. Now let's see. Let's go to, let's go back to Matthew. Gotta do 619. I already did that. Let me do 1st Timothy. 1st Timothy is back here somewhere. I'm letting y'all see the difference. Because a lot of people have been preaching, oh, you know, we shall seek the riches on this earth. No, that's not what God said. Okay? So I'm letting y'all see. Chapter 6. Let's go to verse 6. But godliness with content. No. Yeah. But godliness with contentment is great gain. For we brought nothing into this world, and it's certain we can carry nothing out. And having good food and raiment. Let us be there with content. But they that will be rich fall into temptation and snare. 
and into many foolish and hurtful lusts, which drown men in destruction and perdition. For the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some covet after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through many sorrows. But thou art, but thou art a man of God, flee these things and follow after righteousness, godliness, faith, love, and patience, and meekness. Fight the good fight of faith, lay hold on eternal life, whereunto thou also call and hast professed a good profession before many witnesses. Okay, I give thee charge in the sight of God, who crooked all things, and before Christ Jesus, who before Pontus Pilate, when it's a good confession, that thou keep this commandment without spot, unrebukable, unto the appearing of our Lord Jesus Christ, which in his times he shall shew, who is the blessed and only the Ponte, the King of kings and the Lord of lords, who only had immortality dwelling in the light which no man can approach unto, whom no man has seen nor can see, to whom be honor and power everlasting. Amen. Charge them that are rich in this world, that they be not high-minded, nor trust in uncertain riches, but in the living God, who giveth us richly all things to enjoy, that they do good, that they be rich in good works, ready to distribute, willing to communicate, laying up in the store for themselves a good foundation against the time to come, that they may lay hold on eternal life. O Timothy, keep that which is committed to thy trust, avoid profane and vain babblings, and the opposition of science falsely so called, which some professing have erred concerning the faith, grace be with thee. Amen. The first to Timothy was written from Laodicea, which is the chiefest city of Phrygia, Pac Cantina. Okay. Now, in this scripture, just told you that do not search, seek uncertain riches, only take hold onto the everlasting life. You want to live on people you do not want to seek riches on this earth you want to be hold to the everlasting life because it is better to seek him to live on in the spirit than to sell your soul to the devil and, and die in the spirit so y'all want to be y'all don't want to be confused on that okay so a lot of people are making people to sell itself but not making people but manipulating people to think seeking this riches of this earth is the way to go and it's not okay so people try to seek the everlasting life that's what you want that's the riches in heaven you will live on be in peace be exceedingly glad and joyful unto the lord okay because god bless everything he created everything so why not be with him right right okay let's see mark 12 41, 44. Okay, is that Mark 12? Yeah, okay. And Jesus sat over against the treasure and behold, and beheld how the people cast money into the treasurer, treasury, and many that were rich cast in much. And there came a certain poor widow, and she threw in two mites, which make a father. And he called unto him his disciples and said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, that this poor widow had cast more than all they that they which have cast into the treasury. For all they did in the cast of their abundance, but she of her one did cast in all that she had and even all her living. God looking at that she cast the soul. Not all that um all that money that they were doing, all that abundance of money. God looking at her soul that she gave her life unto him. That's what we need to do. Okay? So they see Mark ten. Mark ten verse twenty four. And his disciples were astonished. Okay, I'm going to read up here. Let's go here. And say, and Jesus looked around about and said, His disciples, how hardly shall they that have riches enter the kingdom of God? And the disciples were astonished at his words. But Jesus answered again and said unto them, Children, how hard it is for them that trust in riches to enter into the kingdom of God? It is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle for then for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. And they were astonished and out of measure, saying among them themselves, who then can be saved? And Jesus looked upon them, saying, With men it is, imp it, it is impossible, but not with God. For with God all things are possible. Okay? And it says, Then Peter began to say unto him, Lo, we have left all and have followed thee. And Jesus said, answered and said, Verily I, I say unto you, There is no man that hath left house, or brother, and sisters, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or lands, for my sake and the gospel. But he shall receive an hundredfold. Now in this time houses, and brethren, and sisters, and mothers, and children, and lands, with persecutions, and it come well to come eternal life. But many that are first shall be last, and the last first. Listen, God just told him there, a rich man cannot get into heaven, but only 
you seeking his internal life. Okay? These pastors, these false prophets are preaching wrong out here. These prophets of Baal telling you money, money, money. Okay? Holding on to the internal life is the only way to get into the heaven. You can't, without the internal life, without the Holy Ghost Spirit, you cannot enter in. That's why it's going to be very few to enter in and many going to hell. Because a lot of people are following these false prophets more than they're following God. They're denying him. Okay? And they're denying him to seek these uncertain riches on this earth. You don't want to become like them. Let's say that. <laughs> okay, let's go to Acts. Acts 20, verse 35. This says here, I assure you all things, how that that's so laboring. Ye, ye are to support the weak. And remember, the words of the Lord Jesus Christ, I, how I say it, is more blessed to give than to receive. Point blank, giving with a cheerful heart. Okay? And more blessed to give than to receive. You out here getting all that money and seeking this fame and fortune rather than to give personally to the people that's poor, you know, and trying to make the poor act like, I know I've heard people call poor people low dirty dogs and and all kinds of crazy stuff. And these people are just poor trying to make it. Okay. Look at look down on them. They look down on them. These rich people look down on them. Okay. And it's not right. Not right at all. And these people ain't going to heaven. <laughs> so they best be prepared for why they selling their soul out here. They are not going to make it into heaven. Being that way. Okay. Let's go to Luke. Luke 18, verse 25. He said again here, and go 24. And when Jesus said, saw that he was very soft, and he said, How hardly shall they that have riches enter the kingdom of God? For it is easier for a camel to go through a needle eye than for a rich man to enter in the kingdom of God. Again, he said it again. Okay? He said the same thing again in Luke 18. Okay? Let's go to 16, 1931. There was a certain rich man, which was clothed in purple and fine linen, and fared sumptuous every day. And there was a certain beggar named Lazarus, which was laid at his gate full of sores, and des desired to be fed with the crumbs which fell down from the rich man's table. Moreover, the dogs came and licked his sores, and it came to pass that the beggar died and was carried by the angels into Abraham's bosom. And the rich man also died and was buried. And in hell he lifted up his eyes and being tormented, and see it, and brought Abraham afar off, and Lazarus in his bosom. And he cried and said, Father, Abraham, have mercy on me, and send Lazarus that he may dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue. I am tormented in this flame. But Abraham said, Son, remember that thou in my, thy lifetime receiveth thy good things, and likewise Lazarus evil things. But now... He is comforted and thou art tormented. Point blank. Since he was living luxur luxurious on this earth, he is being tormented because he's give, give, have given to the beast. Okay? So, beggar Lazarus went to heaven because he was rich in heart instead of seeking the fame that's out here on this earth. Remember, people, seek the Lord Jesus Christ's internal life to live on with him, to not die. Because if you do that, you won't be destroyed. These people that are seeking this fame and fortune on this earth will be destroyed and perish. Okay? Remember, Jesus Christ is God. Only serve him to get the everlasting life. All right, people? Jesus Christ is God.